time after the storm. It is 5 a.m. I've never seen Stansted Airport so busy in my life. Insane. The Captain Z's on the plane and uh, pushed the coffee off and now I'm feeling a lot better um, plus the fact that it is a beautiful day here in Gothenburg that's right I'm ready to take off another country uh, and that is of course Sweden if you haven't guessed already um, early impressions are that this place is absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to go explore but um, I'd like to dump my bag in uh, where I'm staying first before we do that so um, I think I better crack on with that really uh, so let's get going home of IFK Gothenburg. I will not be seeing them play here. Um, however, they are my they are taking part in my last stop of this trip. So we will get to see the team. Um, but I thought I'd have a little look around the stadium. They are the biggest side in Gothenburg. Um, I will not be see <laughs> yeah, I won't be seeing them play here though, uh, which is a shame because if you uh, if you look at it, it's a very impressive looking stadium. It must be said. Um, there's even now uh, like adverts for Metallica performing here soon and they've got a giant golf ball which is now behind me just outside the ground for no particular reason so i'm going to see if there's a uh, like a man like an open door somewhere but uh looking at it i very much doubt it and i very much doubt they'll be able to have a little look around inside but here's hoping not only is it home to gothenburg's biggest football club it's also an escape room by the looks of things uh, but i'm trying to get in Distance has prevailed and I've got to have a little look in. Looks like someone looks like they're relaying the pitch at the moment. I'm also starting to think that this might not be the right stadium because <laughs> of the massive running track. I don't recall whether that's the case or not, but um Yeah, I won't take I won't take the mick, but it was nice to have a little look inside. I'm sure like the um it looks very impressive from the outside. It's not quite as big on the inside as I thought. But uh that's fine. Um, so yeah, on to the next thing. Okay, my suspicions were correct. That was in fact the uh, the multi-sport stadium that is right next to uh, the place I was actually meant to be trying to get into. But here, yeah, very similar looking from the outside as well, I think it's fair to say. The Gamla Luvi, the home of IFK Gothenburg, the third most successful team in Sweden and the most successful here in Gothenburg, so I managed to get into the Ulevi Stadium. Stadium. Can I get into the Gamala Ulevi? Let's find out. <laughs> but no joy, unfortunately. So uh, on to the next one, I guess. This could very easily be the best iced tea I've ever had. It actually tastes like peach, which is rare for iced tea, even if it's meant to. So unfortunately, the um, one of the big tourist attractions, the uh, fish market, is a building site at the moment. It's being renovated by Luke's things, so I've... Uh, Because, you know, I'm on holiday after all. Kick back and enjoy the beautiful Gothenburg weather. Now, the plan was not to make this all about IFK Gothenburg. Albeit, they are the biggest city in the town. But this rock, um, I was told by my hostel keeper, um, represents where the first game that they ever played was. In this field, just in the middle of nowhere it was once 
a stadium. It's now nothing more than a field next to a junction. But, um, on a Friday night, I did have a couple of lower league options ranging from the third tier of the tool down uh, that I was going to sample today. And I had a one in mind just from looking at the images that I thought would be the coolest stadium. But as I was sat at my hostel charging my phone, I saw that there was one less than a kilometre from my hostel. So I'm going over to check the ground out now and see whether I'm just going to cop out and do that or whether I will stick to my plan. So um, let's see. So this seems to be it. It looks like there's some kind of training session going on at the minute on the 4G, uh, some cycling as well. Another training session. But yeah, it just looks like a sort of multi-purpose um, little bit. So I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to stick to my plan. To the tram stop now, and there is a closed off bit here for seemingly literally no reason. Like, what is... Stop. But uh, no obvious reason as to why, so... Uh... Over we go. thing I like by far the most in the Swedish tram system is a little pulley rope when you want to stop and get off. Instead of trying to crawl over someone to push the button. Anyway, this is my stop. I'm just hoping the uh, game's chance can match the name of the tram station and be at least somewhat musical. So, as you can maybe see, you walk in the streets. There aren't too many people that appear to be heading to this fiction. But that hasn't deterred me one bit. If there are a hundred people going, I'll be one of them. If there are 10 people going, I'll be one of them. If there is one person going, it's me. And of course, if no one is going, then I have tragically died en route. And um, this video will probably never see the light of day. But anyway, let's, let's get to the ground. I want to see what the scran options are, if there are any. Um, what the ground looks like. It was the best looking ground of the lot that wasn't like a, a multi-use. 3G type situation. So we'll see. We'll see what it's all like. I'm I'm hopeful. I'm excited. And I'm feeling a little jaded. So hopefully they got some coffee there to perk me up a wee bit. Park is absolutely heaving for the big one. Hang on a second. I see seats. I see floodlights. I hear the odd shout. I think I've found it. Could you tell me a little bit about the club? Uh, the club uh, Asyriska Beko is a club that has been started by those who has come from other countries as Syrians mm -hmm. originally. Uh, they started a club together as friends uh, that represent our people in Gothenburg mm -hmm. and has uh, started up for all those who live in the community to play with each other as a fun thing that then has led that we came up at the series at the divisions Oh, brilliant. Uh, got more serious, of course. And now we have players from all kind of nationalities who plays with us. So we've grown much bigger since we started. So you were with the club from the start? Not from the start. Uh, the older guys, uh, as we say. Ah, uh, okay. Like uh, the friends of my dad and my mom's friends, they started the club and they came to Sweden. And um, where do you see the club going? Do you think it can go all the way to Allersvenskan? Uh, of course, if you want to be optimistic, it would be very fun if we could do Talsvenska, but it's a long way. Okay. To do at Division 3, we have been in Division 1 before, mm -hmm. so we have been close, so of course we can do it. it so how many um, steps away are you at the moment? Division 3, then we have number 2, then Division 1, then it comes Superettan and Allsvenska. Ah, okay, so you've yeah. got, what, five divisions? Yeah. Okay, but um, your club's come a long way since it was started, I take it? Yeah, we started from the bottom, like mm. Division 7, 8, and then yeah. we came up to Division 1 and played against big teams in Sweden. So we have come a very far away. Who's the biggest team you've played, would you say? Oof, I think uh, Örgryte. Was that in the cup? Yeah, it's in the cup. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you dream of playing someone like Mal uh, no, um, yeah, Malmö one day? I don't really care about the, team, the teams that we meet. Okay. Uh, the biggest teams... I'm just proud to play with this club. 
that's the most important thing. That's brilliant. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. So Burger man has an, a Jamie Oliver barbecue. Unbelievable. Can't escape the man. And it's a proper flame barbecue. Awesome. So you get a coffee and a burger where you get to put whatever you want in it. For just 70 Swedish Krona. What a bargain. I say there's a nice vibe around here and I really love these seats. They're on some sort of scaffolding, but I don't know, it's got character, I like it. So uh, the guy who sold me the burger said it would be the best burger in Sweden, or at least the biggest bargain. Um, I can't work out the conversion rate in my head, but it seemed pretty reasonable. And um, yeah, it's not bad at all. Definitely no complaining. And the Assyrian uh, music, I, well, I presume it's Assyrian music that's playing, is, it's got something about it. You know what I'm saying? Here they come, parts of the Caribbean plane. <laughs> Interesting choice from the keeper to be in all thermals, even though it's about 20 degrees out there. Definitely no need, but he's not the only one. Here we go. Ah. So it's been half an hour, just over. Yet to have a shot. This uh, non-league Swedish game so far, not living up to my even quite low expectations, to be honest. Here it goes. Go on. Ah, oh, it's over. Hit it. Deliver! Ah. Another corner, it's just taken short. Went to early. Oh, and he nearly caught the keeper out. Nearly. Half time, and the kids have gone on the field, I presume, to try their luck in the big goal. Go! Oh, we've finally seen the ball hit the back of the net of this stadium. Well, it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? That made quite an unimpressive noise, actually. Shame. And we're back on the way. Given that this is third versus bottom, it's been quite an even game, so I'm sure um, the visitors will be raring to get some goals in the second half. Come on, gotta shoot. Still there. Ah. An absolute banger from a serious number 10. And they lead the bottom of the league. Lead against third. Unbelievable. I'd lost all faith in seeing a goal in this game, but instead we get a massive upset. Ooh. Start attacking. Oh, it could be a penalty. It's not. Oh. Blimey, just a bit of action there, but at least it's not nil-nil anymore. Chance! Oh, can he get there? Oh, over hit the touch. Could it still be 2-0? Oh no, they've mucked it up. Could that come back to haunt them? Corner, in added on time, but the keeper's not gone up. Boring. In it goes. Oh! Over by the keeper, the Frank gets it on all. Oh, another corner. It's got short. Oh, it's too short. The defender's intercepted it. It's going to get a hoof back in. Yep. Oh. Oh, over the top. And now the keeper's down. Could only assume he's not actually injured. Oh, it's full time. There we go. A massive upset in the fifth tier of Swedish football. Not what I expected when I got here, let's just say that. Winner! Well done, my friend! So, there you have it. If you wondered what a non league club in Sweden, one run by Assyrians, looks like, now you know. 
but don't get me wrong i did not know what an assyrian was before i came to that game so it was an educational day for me too and i hope you enjoyed so um i will not be going to any more lower league games it's all our fence scan from here i've got some some games i'm very excited to see coming up but uh until then thanks for watching and uh stay tuned for that peace